What is up guys, Joshua Levin Iron. Today's video is kind of a video, if you got a Mac Studio, and let's say you got the base model with 512 gigabytes, this video might help you. Now, if you don't care about having the super fast SSDs, then this video is for you. It's relatively cheap, and I think it's a great way to get more storage onto your device without having to spend like the Apple tax. So what I have here is a Crucial P2 NVMe solid state drive that's a terabyte. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this external NVMe case, put this NVMe into that case, and then we're going to format it on our machine and this will be fast enough that you'd be able to edit from which i would say that's what we're looking for so all you have to do is just take these these teeth right here i don't know if you can see them and then all we're doing is putting it in here and lining those teeth up so right here at the end you're going to see a cutout and that's going to go right here to the top to hold it down and you'll see why here in a second. So I'm just going to line these teeth up. It's kind of like at an angle, as you saw there, there's an angle. You can see it standing up there. And that's why this other thing down here is what we need. So we'll just loosen up that part. It might fall out, which is okay. That's why we have magnetic, oh, there we go. And then all we gotta do is screw it down don't go too hard, this is a PCB. Snug. And then I have to put this little protector plate on here. And it's just six screws for me. I am just reusing an SSD that I had prior, that I purchased prior. It's just the case. It's not the SSD, the SSD is in a machine. And I'm so glad that I kept this because I'm able to upgrade my storage without having to spend a whole lot of money. Now this storage was on sale on Newegg for $89. And I think there was like, took an extra like five or $10 off, something like that, which made it around 80 bucks. And for a storage of pretty fast, I mean, this is not gen four speeds, but pretty fast uh, SSD speeds, I would say that's a pretty good deal. I'm happy with the purchase. Crucial is pretty well known, very reliable. And that's exactly what we're looking for when we're saving store or saving data onto a storage device. You want it to be reliable. You want it to be at least pretty fast and not break the bank. And Crucial checks all those for me. So here's the last screw. I'm gonna show you the reason why I chose this case. And it is because once you take this out, you have this Type-C connector on the end of it. And of course, we have Thunderbolt and Type-C on our device, especially if it's like your MacBook Pro or your Mac Studio or whatever, especially right now, your Thunderbolt 4 and Type-C connections. And this is the connection that you want. It's a lot faster than you, you know, using USB-A 2.0. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer from here and then I'm going to plug this into my Mac Studio and then we're going to format it and I'll show you which format we will use. Okay, so all I'm going to do is connect this end on into my Mac Studio using the USB-C in the front. It's gonna pop up on the screen. Oh. This is what we're going to use. So here, is our new media and we're going to erase it we're going to title this extended uh, storage and it's going to go into apple filing system so it's apfs and that's what it's called and that's what you want to use and it's the scheme just leave it it's going to be guid you're going to hit erase it's gonna format the disk now. I don't know why it did the extended journal. That's not what I picked. I picked APFS because that is the that is the format that you want to use with NVMe SSDs, which are in these Macs as well. Now, 
want to see here. Um, get info. Okay, so it did format into APFS. So that's, that's Apple format or Apple file system. That's what you want. So you see it's a terabyte. Now we have a terabyte of storage on our machine with super fast. You can always change the name on these if you want to. I just put extended storage so it lets me know right here that it's not my Apple storage. And you can go ahead and like add your files into that. I, I, I can mean I can leave it connected, I'll be fine. I don't mind at all. That's up to you if you want to connect it every time, but this is what I bought it for, so it doesn't necessarily matter to me that if I do extend it or if I do eject it or not, because it is a Gen 3 SSD. So it's up to a thousand megabytes a second, so a gig a second, which isn't bad. And we hit, now we have a terabyte and that was that fast and it was that easy. All I did was connect it, erase it, chose APFS, which is the Apple file or yeah, Apple file system or Apple file storage or whatever else people call it. And it's right here on my desktop the whole time. Let me know if that was super helpful. Uh, if that is something that you're looking for, maybe that was something that you needed. Maybe you need a little bit more storage. At least this way, you'll have the storage you need and it's reliable, it's fast. It's like I said, it's the crucial. They're very reliable and it's fast storage. So if there's anything else that you guys want to know, please let me know in the comments below. I'll go ahead and answer the questions as well as I can. But that was that fast and that simple to get an SSD, uh, NVMe SSD formatted to Apple. So you can use it and store your, your pictures or your videos and you can even edit off of it because it is that fast the next one we'll do is maybe i'll bring out my nas plug it in using the 10 gigabit ethernet and then we'll thought we'll edit off of that and see how it performs anyway guys i gotta go because my back hurts